which one is better? San Pedro and Bagreski or Kikoka? I've experienced both islands in Belize and I've come up with a genius... I eh, you mean it's been suggested to you by a wonderful subscriber of yours? All right, all right. It's been suggested to me by a wonderful subscriber that I compare my experience on both islands so that it will help you to make a right decision on which one to visit when you decide to visit Belize. My name is Miki. Keep watching. Hello everyone, Mickey here. Welcome to my channel where I draw lessons from life experience and I also share my experience of the places that I am working, which at the moment is Belize in Central America. In this video, I am going to compare my experience of San Pedro Ambagreski and Kikoka in order to aid your decision in choosing which one to visit when you decide to visit Belize. However, I have a disclaimer. I would like to start by saying that this video isn't going to tell you which one of these islands is better. As such, recommendation will be informed by my biased judgment, influenced by my own personal circumstances. In other words, we all have our own personal preferences when choosing a holiday destination. And I can assure you, both of these islands have what it takes to satisfy those preferences in their own unique ways. Before I get on with the comparison, I would like to say if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and come on my journey of experience with me. Thank you very much for subscribing to be part of this wonderful family. Now let's get into the video. San Pedro Ambagreski and Kikoka are islands off the east coast of Belize. Kikoka, which is the smaller of them, with a size of 8 kilometers from north to south and 1.6 kilometers wide, is 30 to 45 minutes from Belize via water taxi and has an approximate population of 4,000 people. <laughs> San Pedro and Bagreski, on the other hand, is bigger, stretching 40 kilometers from north to south and 1.6 kilometers wide and is an hour and a half off the coast of Belize via water taxi. San Pedro has an approximate population of 10,000. Both islands are accessible via flight from Belize City as well. I have made videos on how to travel to these islands and links will be left at the YouTube video description. Both islands present a variety of accommodation, being in Airbnbs, hotels, condos and villas with seaside views. As San Pedro is bigger, it presents a wider variety compared to Kikoka. There are more bigger, luxurious and gold standard hotels in Ambagreski compared to Kikoka. However, according to Booking.com, hotels in Ambagreski are more expensive with an average price of a three-star hotel estimated to be 157 US dollars compared to 84 US dollars per night in Kikoka. The most common means of transportation on both islands is via golf carts which are available for rentals for approximately 25 US dollars per day. However, this cost can be avoided on Kikoka due to its small size. You can literally get around Kikoka on four or bikes that are also available for rental. Due to the sheer size of Ambagreski, golf carts are almost deemed essential in order to access the variety of activities the island has to offer. Yes. 
Both islands have restaurants and grocery stores where food can be purchased. Food on offer can be local and foreign delicacies. However, San Pedro offers much wider variety of restaurants and grocery stores which facilitate long stay and family vacations. Again, both islands offer a variety of activities like diving, snorkeling, even Mayan archaeological centers. However, yes, you guessed right, Ambagris Key presents a wider variety to choose from. The nightlife in San Pedro is more vibrant compared to Key Corca, with different resorts organizing different activities for their guests. There are more places to relax to soak up the holiday sun on Ambagris Key compared to Key Corca, where majority of tourists hang around the Split Beach. However, with that in mind, due to the small nature of the Split Beach, it always feels vibrant with the small number of people, which can be a plus for younger tourists. With the wide range of variety presented by San Pedro and Bagreski, it is safe to say that it comes with a higher cost. And Bagreski is more vibrant and faster, giving it the typical tourist destination vibe, which normally comes with higher price tags. Kikoka, on the other hand, is more chilled and laid back. In conclusion, I will say, in my opinion, if you are young or looking to have a cheap day trip with your friends where all you require is a cool, dry place to lay your head, then Kikoka is more suited for you. However, if you are looking to spend more on a longer getaway in a vibrant holiday slash tourist destination, living in a near gold standard accommodation, then San Pedro and Bagreski will do you just fine. You know what, it will be intriguing to know which one of these gorgeous islands you prefer and why. So please let me know in the comment section. I would like to suggest though, that if you have a wet pocket with a bigger budget, why not book your long stay in San Pedro and Bagreski and pick one weekend out of your holiday to visit Kikoka. By so doing, you can take a bit of both islands with you. After all, it's only an hour away from each other with water taxi making approximately four trips in between islands per day. I hope this video was informative and will aid with your decision in choosing which of these islands to visit when you finally make your way to Belize. If you found value in this video, I'll please ask you to like and subscribe to my channel if you are new to come on my journey of experience. Please do let me know in the comment section if I left something out or you have a different opinion to mine as I would love to see things in your perspective as well. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.